Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in today's video, we're going to break down some new aerial footage from this new city cruising in 4K video. There's some drone footage of Super Nintendo, with some beautiful drone footage in the dusk here. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and break it down. And I'll leave the link for the full video, as always, in the description below. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, as you can see right here, I mean, just what a beautiful view. Imagine the coaster going, the Fast and Furious coaster going over the escalator a couple times. In the future, now it'll be nice. Mummy may or may not be there in the future. Um, well, these town stages in the future will be demolished. Oh, this landscape will look so much different. Automatically, you can see Peach's Castle looking much more complete and finished as we've seen in previous updates and even look some mushrooms right here. For Mushroom Kingdom. Let's go ahead and continue. So if you take a peek right, peek right there, no, obviously they haven't themed any of the side uh, ground or anything. It's all just concrete. But yeah, Peach's Castle is just about done here. I mean, look at that. It's fantastic. Looking very, very good. There looks like another entrance to something right here. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe one of them's an exit. Kind of maybe the I don't know if it's this one's entrance, one's exit. Um, they just kind of lead to the same warp pipe tunnel or what, but it looks fantastic here. You can see an entrance to probably will be the land's main gift shop. Well, the one up factory is here, but this might be yet another gift shop or mini game experience. And look at that, look at that, they have some interesting feature. This might be for, this could be for the meet, either minigame or the Mario in, or Mario characters meet, Nintendo characters meet and greet that you see in Japan. They do kind of meet in a circle area, and this is maybe what that could be. Looks pretty cool. Um, and right near the entrance, it is near the entrance in Tokyo's version as well. See, Peachens is all wrapped up as they can again, try to preserve all the paints and everything from the elements and dust while uh, while they continue to build, build out this land because this is a quite a colorful land so uh, any type of dust a lot of the dust from the construction and the machinery here would definitely dole this out quickly that's why they want to go ahead and cover everything up to the very last section very last time uh very last you know phases that way they can go ahead and uh, start testing everything and then soft open which would be great there's a uh, something, <laughs> maybe a mushroom or something over there. Here's this one-up factory. You can see the entrance, uh, nearly complete. And there's the one-up factory sign in full view. It's been up for a while, but now we can finally get a good, very good view of it. Just get some more blocks getting ready to put up. And there's another flag. Actually, it's a third flag in the land. One here, one hanging out over here, and of course, on a mountain beanpole. I wonder if this will be a mini game over here. Mm -hmm. you turn around. So here's the major progress here happening on Canopio's Cafe or Toad's Cafe, as we call it. They're looking to install one of those some more you know, steel some more structural steel here for what will encompass toad's head and this will be the entrance and exit to the highly themed restaurant i'm very excited to eat in there and look inside and see what what's going to be like there's another entrance or exit to either peach's castle or maybe a mini game because here's the restrooms Looking, looks like they're getting ready to start on the, um, maybe the theming to the sidewalk for the upper level area in the Bowser's castle. Even no sign of here, Bowser's head. So, be, again, I feel like that will be the last thing to be coming on there.
has Mount Beanpole looking gorgeous. It's been finished for a while. Look at this here's a nice little castle entrance here. Uh entrance and exit to the the ice mini game. Maze. Here's the Jurassic World Extended Q tent. I still think Donkey Kong would work well right over here. There's Yoshi. I saw an article that Yoshi appeared at Hollywood, but I mean, Yoshi's been in Hollywood for quite a while. He's been in this spot for a very long time, so I don't know what they're talking about. There's a the third prawn plant that's always it's hidden over there. There's like some icers. Looks like either targets or some ice targets, maybe, for a potential mini game or just some theming. And here's an entrance to maybe a maze or something. Um, or just an indoor section. I can't wait to go ahead and play in here. This is going to be super duper fun. This is super exciting. Nearing out towards the finish line. A lot of work left to do, but they are uh, they're really pushing along as fast as they can, can there. This is clearly not on a horror night tonight because this area, the main park, is not crowded. This is definitely on one of those probably Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, not the last Wednesday, but the other Wednesdays where the park closed at 6 and there weren't just too many people around. And there's some of the NBC uh, Universal Campus construction. A beautiful view into the valley. If you can look all the way over there, you can see my house is way, way over there. On the 101 freeway. That's a beautiful, again, another great update from City Cruising. Now, copy and paste and link. Uh, paste the link below in the description if you want to watch the full video with the music and the sound and the uninterruptions of me talking. Um, yeah, definitely follow them because they do other... Um, drone footage of not just Super Nintendo World, but other landmarks and other areas around LA and Southern California, so great channel to follow. They're still small, so we'll help them grow. Definitely give them a nice subs, subscribe, and um, subscribe to my channel as well for more theme park updates. Super Nintendo World updates, I'll be back at the park this week to check on that. I have an Epic Universe Super Nintendo World update that I've been trying to get out for a while, but all this stuff keeps happening. I will hopefully go up tomorrow. Then I'll have a Mario Kart versus Mini Mickey Minis Runway Railway video coming out later this week, where uh, I use a poll that you guys voted on, and I say I ask which one are you most excited for, Mickey Minis or Mario Kart here in Hollywood? So that video will be coming out later this week. So subscribe, subscribe for all that good stuff. If you like this video, press that thumbs up video, press that thumbs up, and as always, have a fantastic day.